at Dusseldorf we saw a very interesting Type H Citroen from 1947 or 48 and uh, it was in fact a Citroen jumper hiding behind a uh, Type H and here we have the same thing. Actually this one's hidden a bit more though. It, <laughs> this VW Camper body kit uh, well, it's not quite uh, the same, of course, because it's a more of a... I don't know if scale model's right or not, but uh, it does say here that it's a replica. Um, it was specially built for somebody. I haven't got a clue how much it costs, so don't ask. And this is on the base of a Subaru Libero 4x4 from 1996. So, let's have a look inside. That says once you've finished your work, put your underpants on. Oh, I'll give you the, there's the, uh, so it's called the Transvestit, or Trans VW Estit, I should say, really, and, uh, and that's the telephone number if you want to get one yourself. So you gotta add plus four eight to that. Haven't got a clue if they can speak any of the languages. Don't know the people who did it. There you go. Gas Monkey Garage. He's on um, Facebook. Sorry. Gas Monkey Garage. Telephone. Track move number plate. Well, so if you're looking for something a bit different, that could be the thing. It's, I think it's, uh, I think I'd rather have that than the Subaru. That's my opinion. Well, another great body kit. So which would you have? The Citroen uh, from uh, from Dusseldorf, which actually is on the market, uh, commercially available. I suppose this would be as well. Of course, it's, it's, you have to order specially.